Hi, it's Tony here again from the Think to Thrive team with this next video just for you. How are you doing during this challenging time? I hope these videos are helping. If you remember last time, we were looking at this triangle with the letters SET for set. You might be wondering, Tony, what does the letter T stand for? Just to show you that I'm still uh, focusing on that state of union, that, that way that I choose to be on a daily basis during this crisis to serve other people as best I can and to get us through this as best I can for my own personal world. It's still here in my jacket pocket. I get this out every day. It's my little card with SET on the set with the candles still burning for hope. So the T, thinking. Would you agree that probably the biggest the biggest thing that's probably bubbled up in your awareness over the last few weeks is the power of our thoughts. Those, those thoughts that rumble around. Now, I'm going to share a story with you with sincere authenticity and honesty now to show you that no one's perfect. I haven't got this, even though I study all the time, and Mike and I are avid lifelong learners, we develop the Think to Thrive program, you never stop learning. I actually woke up the other night in a nightmare scenario. I literally had had a whole series of nightmares and they were tied onto each other. And I woke up, you know, out of sleep, terrified. And I realized why on earth has that happened? And you know why it's happened? Because I'd gone to bed after spending hours just watching the news. Now I'm not saying that the news, that you should switch yourself off from the news. You do need to be informed. But when you get to that state where you're just constantly enumerating about how things, how bad could, things could be and getting that very negative vibration, if you carry that through into your sleep, you can guarantee like that that the subconscious is going to take those thoughts and turn them into dreams. And I was in a very bad state when I woke up. And it made me realise the power of thinking. So during this time of isolation or as I say being on the front line or whatever it is that you're doing during this time of crisis, the, the way that you monitor your thoughts is absolutely fundamental to you remaining resilient. Now, Mike's going to share in a minute with you what he does to keep his mental focus correct. I'll quickly share with you now what I do. Well, first of all, I keep this in my pocket every day and I read it, my state of union. I'm going to set my compass on the last letter T how am I choosing my thoughts? So the, this morning, for example, I didn't sit and watch the news because I watched it last night. There well, may well be some changes I need to know about, but that can wait till this evening when I sit and watch that briefly. Meanwhile, first thing in the morning, I get up and I make myself a green smoothie, which is nutritious, and I focus on the good that's going to do. And then I spent an hour listening to some empowering, inspirational podcasts because I know that's feeding my conscious mind with positive mental outlook, which will then serve my subconscious far better. Oops, and then today, of course, I'm filming this video, which is another positive way of focusing my thoughts. And when I finish this video, I will then get on with writing my book. You see, our greatest power is choice, and how you focus that mental chatter inside here is absolutely crucial. Now, Mike Hendricks is going to give a little bit more information on the topic of thinking uh, to empower you. And he's going to share what he does on a daily basis to get him through this moment of crisis. Do you know, I've never met somebody as down to earth, as authentic and, and with that warmth as a human being as Mike Hendricks. So Mike Hendricks to my left or to my right, we don't know where he's appealing from. Mike Hendricks is now going to wrap up this video on thinking. Here's your success to Tony Mike. Warmth, authentic, Tony, you're just too kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but as Tony was saying, it's important what you take on board because that will leave an impression on your subconscious mind and leave an impression on how you are thinking. And that can be a good thing or a bad thing. So what are you taking on board? Now, I could go into a huge amount of detail in terms of what you should be thinking and what I will say is that something that myself and Tony have studied for years and helped us to create that how to confidently think to thrive program which you can check out 
and we'll speak more about that in due course. But what I do is I look at making sure that before I go to bed, I am filling my head, I am listening to something that's empowering and that's something that's going to navigate or orientate my mind to what I want to experience. So my day starts the night before. That's either reading a book that's going to calm my mind, a read a book that's going to open my mind to something new, new creative ideas, but something that's empowering, something that's going to move me in the direction of my desires. So when I wake up, my mind is filled with ideas from the night before. So my day is set with the intention, starting the night before. That's maybe something that you want to think about doing. You've heard me speak about before how it's, how it's important to have a good bedtime routine. So it could be for you, your bedtime routine is to introduce something that's going to set you for the following day, help you to think in a way that's going to be good. It could be to say, right, I'm going to do some exercise. So I'm going to look at some exercises that I could do the following day. Something that's going to help you in a good, empowering way that's going to move your mind and start you thinking in a positive and productive manner as opposed to a negative or a downbeat or a downcast manner. So you have to make that intention, you have to be on purpose and you have to start cultivating thinking that's going to serve you. And as I said, we can speak much more about that and if you want to check out that Think to Thrive program, we're going into massive detail about how thinking is going to move you to having and doing and being more of what you want in your life. Okay, that's it for today. Again, hope you found it of value. Remember to share it with your circle of influence. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Until next time, take care, be empowered to your success.